hi guys welcome back to my channel and before i even tell you guys what i'm going to be talking about today i just want to put this out there that we me and you guys collaboratively collectively we have been nominated for an award i know i'm like really excited i've known about it for like over a week it's really humbling and honestly i wasn't expecting this because if you've been following my channel, you know I sit here every day and talk about inconsistency. I am not consistent. I know this. I am fully aware, but I try to put in the work. It's just like a lot of things that I'm doing at one given time, and it's always very overwhelming. But I do try to, you know, keep up and make this channel what I want it to be. And we're still building it. We're still, you know, growing it into that level. So being recognized at this stage, it just makes me feel very seen. It just makes me feel like yeah we're really out there even though we're not out there but people know us those who are supposed to know us they know us so um if i'm being honest with myself i don't think we're gonna back this one because there are some really really you know dope and great people that i look up to in that category also i didn't even tell you guys what we were nominated for so we're nominated as the youtube you know discovery channel of the year and it's just crazy because we haven't been on this platform for a very long time so it's <sighs> it makes me really excited very very excited um voting is still ongoing i think yeah voting is still ongoing so guys we're not gonna win but we might as well just give it our all if you want to vote for me if you want to vote for us all you have to do is go on their website and then click on the person you want to vote for you end it that's it no cost nothing so let's just try for us let's just try and see if we can back this one uh in the meantime shout outs to headless headless is amazing i haven't met him before but we are friends emotion controller i'm gonna call you emotional controller for the rest of my life but yeah shout out to him too i met him a while ago thanks to marintia and he's an amazing person anyways um congratulations to everybody in the category guys please go vote for us moving on so today i just want to talk about some of the similarities and the differences between um ghana and ivory coast this past month has been all about ivory coast because i traveled there and i really really loved it i was there for a week and a couple of days and i had a really amazing time like it was really really fun there's not a lot of differences between ghana and ivory coast like it's very very similar and i was surprised to find it very similar because being here all my life i haven't traveled outside before I've been to uh, the neighboring countries before so this was like a first for me upon arrival there i was expecting you know a very foreign environment like completely foreign but it was similar to ghana it was dead as the same like um so i stayed at kumasi I keep saying Kumasi, but I'm sure the actual pronunciation is Kumasi. I don't know. But I stayed there. And I can tell you guys that I'll just wake up in the morning and be like, okay, today let's explore the neighborhood or let's see what this place looks like. And I would say, see, this is Dan Suman. This neighborhood is Dan Suman. It was so similar. Is this not Bala Street? Is this not Flamingo? Is this not Dan Suman? That was Dan Suman. And another shock was the food. What they eat, we eat. Same, same. No difference. Like, I had been in Ghana for 24 years before I traveled to, you know, Ivory Coast. 24 years, and I hadn't ever eaten a chicken before. Ever in my life. But apparently, we have it here. Like, you go to some of these famous restaurants and they serve it like it's a main dish on their menu and i stayed at half a cine for like a couple of days and it was one of the main foods that they ate a chicken and tilapia and i'm like how come i've been here this whole time and it took me crossing a border to realize that this food exists another thing that i tried while i was there was um fufu with ripe plantain i know it's a thing here i know i have an ewa friend she's like that's all she eats like it's a thing people eat it but i never knew it was a thing i mean i'd heard about yam for fufu and that's like for the nigerians but coco coco for fufu like my mind was blown when i heard it it sounded very hideous in my head because like yeah eating it with what light soup 
what's the correlation it wasn't really clicking in my mind until they put it in front of me gave me water to wash my hand and they said dig in and then i dug in and it was like fuck i've been missing out on a lot of things i've really been missing out on a lot of things and ever since then upon coming back i've been exploring more foods it was like a really good experience for me now let me talk about some of the differences between ghana and ivory coast number one you know how in ghana all our taxis look the same like all our taxis are taxis like there's no distinct difference between taxis like the taxi you pick here is the same taxi you're gonna pick at east Legon, or you pick at let's say trasaco or you pick at it's the same it's the same taxi but then i got to Côte d'Ivoire, and i'm seeing like all of these colors and i'm like okay what's happening so i asked somebody and then they explained to me that actually every city town or whatever has a color for their taxis so let's say let me use ghana for instance you'd go to dan suman all the taxis in dan suman are orange i don't know why i keep saying dan suman i think the love of my life lives there if you live at dan suman and you think we click come find me because i don't get it at this point maybe you come to you go to kumasi all of the cars they are like green go to upper west all of the cars they are like a different color wow the next thing that i realized their roads most of their roads are not parted you see how taking the n1 for instance cars that are going are on one side and cars that are coming are on the other side so it's like yeah common knowledge okay if you're going you're supposed to use this route if you're coming you're supposed to be here it's very rare for you to see a car coming on a going lane that's just reserved for like the stupid drivers they do that shit they do shit like that and then i get to kumasi and it's like open streets open sesame wide cars are going cars are coming cars are dissecting cars are intersecting see it was chaotic in a very beautiful way everybody is on the street people are crossing people are coming going motors are i'm like why who did this whose idea was this and funny enough there wasn't a problem anywhere because people knew where they were going everybody was on their lane nobody's screaming at each other yo you're in my lane go get up it was like calm wow do this here we'll make headlines <laughs> next so one other thing that was on my itinerary while i was there was to travel by train see how recently trains are back in business and you can pick a train from let's say achimota to tema tema to achimota and people take it to work back and forth like they do short distance i wanted to do that in kumasi unfortunately i couldn't because i asked around and they told me that trains over there they don't do short distance they do long distance and that was like very disappointing for me because i wanted to pick a train there and then see how different it is from picking a train over here so that's something i didn't get to do but if i get the opportunity to go back definitely i'm gonna do that we're gonna try the whole long distance thing and then see how you know it works uh -huh. The next thing, I had a very funny experience, a very funny encounter. Apparently, it's not something new and a lot of countries do it. Because I came and I told the stories to, you know, some of my friends. And they were like, oh, this is nothing new. If you go to Tanzania, they do the same thing. If you go to this country, they do the same thing. And I was like, I've not been to these countries. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm in Ghana. And I have never experienced this. I go to the mall, right? And um, I'm looking around and I see this really nice chocolate that they have. And um, the person we went with really vouched for the chocolate she's like it's the best thing you would ever taste and i buy like four of this right that's the only thing i purchased and i'm elegantly just striding to the counter and i get there and then i paid for the chocolates like she keyed it into the system she told me oh it's that 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 that's safer and i'm like okay cool so i paid for it and then she puts the chocolate on the counter and she's looking at me and i'm looking at her and she's looking at me and i'm looking at her she's expecting me to pick the chocolate and move and i'm like isn't she gonna give me like a plastic bag to put like you know the stuff in because you're not expecting me to you know carry the chocolate on my chest like a three months old baby and then just be running around like yeah chocolate it doesn't make any sense so i was expecting a plastic bag because if you buy anything down here plastic bags are like not a big deal auto mentors run city crown out a plastic bag they'll give it to you and i'm like um plastic bag and she looks me dead in the eye she says 
Sanfran. Sanfran who? Sanfran what? If you need a plastic bag, you buy it. And the plastic bag costs more than one chocolate. And I'm like, no, not me, not today. You won't catch me doing this. No. Ah, they held me because I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight somebody. But literally, this is something that's common in several countries. And it was a shock to me. It was a shocker. And I came back and I'm having a conversation. And apparently, another thing that I found out was that, you know, living expense in Ivory Coast is 7% higher than it is in Ghana. That's some stuff. That's some serious stuff. And then finally, this is a similarity. Um, majority of the things in their mall is the same thing that we have here. And you can find some of the stalls we have here over there. Because I went to Kumasi Mall. I have a video of that already on the page. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I went there and um, I'm just strolling around and I casually see banana. So I went in there, I checked it out. Same, same, same thing. So all together, it was an amazing experience. I learned a lot. It was good. It was good vibes. And um, am I going to go there again? Definitely. Definitely. That's it. That's the video. Quick reminder again. Please go vote for your girl. Vote for her. Vote for us. Vote for us. This is like a wake up call for me to be consistent because bro, you can't be getting recognized and you're not putting in the work and the efforts because people are killing it out there and they're in the same category. So we got this. The end. See you in the next video. Peace out.